Hello, my lovelies. Welcome back to All About Jamie. I'm going to do something really different today. We are going to be talking about Omani aesthetics and how I style for that look. The old money aesthetic style has been quite a trend since 2023, but I haven't actually done a styling video on that. It is actually one of my favorite styles and I am going to be sharing some tips on how I achieve that. Firstly, for grooming, always keep your hair classy and polished. So healthy and shiny hair, it's always the key to the old money style. Keep your hair neat, and well-groomed, not too many colors or highlights on it. I like to keep mine straight as whenever I do curls, it just does not sustain in this weather. And that is not actually an old money style. So let's stay away from the curls. Just make sure that your hair is nice and clean, all blow dried, healthy and shiny. And if I do tie my hair, it will be either like in a straight ponytail or like I'll tie half of it up like this. And I always like to accessorize with bows because I think that is a very pretty aesthetic. And it's also classic, clean polish. So I have many bows that I make myself. I'm wearing one of them right now. So we'll be styling with the bows right here as well. Polish is the key. And when it comes to makeup, keep it minimal. You will want to start with very clean skin and let your natural glow show. I would advise not to wear bright and colorful eyeshadows, blushers, and lipsticks. Go for more neutral tones, preferably more nude, not too much eyeliner, and keep your blusher natural as well so for lipstick i would go for a natural tone but if you find that it is too pale for you you can always mix it with like a slightly brighter tone but just to keep in mind not to go with a like a bright red lipstick and anyway you'll hardly see me with a bright red lippy simply because I feel that it doesn't really make me look good. So I tend to stay away from like intense, really bright reds. I love my neutrals and that is old money style. And when it comes to nails, I always like to keep my really neutral with soft ivories, white. Um, you almost never see me with red nails. So that is again, like an old money styling, which is also the way I have been wearing my nails because it's just simply easier to match rather than having like screaming bright colors like nail art and all that. That is not the aesthetic we are talking about today. I mean, I love nail art, just that uh, I feel that it does not really suit me and I don't really go for nail art personally. Um, it's just my personal preference. I like to keep my nails either like French or neutral and the shade is almost always like not too long and yeah roundish and for all my aesthetic when it comes to jewelry keep it simple nothing too ostentatious quiet luxury is the key and what is quiet luxury when it comes to jewelry i think pearls not too much diamonds just good old pearls. So I am going to look for my trusty pearl earring. I think it is, um, no, it's not here. So all these are not old money. <laughs> it's like really much too ostentatious for this video. So good old pearls, just pearl studs always look very elegant with any outfit. In fact, even in this casual style, I'm going to show you guys how good it looks. And it just brings out the radiance on your skin. Absolutely love pearls. And I am going to bring out a string of pearls and several string of pearls too. This is classic enough. South Sea pearls, 
always Olani style. Outfits that have brands just shouting all over. The quiet luxury is really the look right now. And that is what we are going to be doing today. I'm going to be using two of my favorite handbags and two pairs of my favorite shoes of the moment to style a couple of outfits Omani style. First, I'm going to start with this look that I already have on before I push the rest of the outfits in. So I really like this outfit because it is super comfortable and all the outfits in this video are going to be from Goelia. If you guys haven't already watched previous two styling videos I did for Goelia, please go watch it. I promise it's going to be worth your while. So what I have on is a really comfortable knit top. It is super soft and it fits really nicely and it's not too thick and too warm or uncomfortable but just let you know that my closet is actually pretty warm because of all the dehumidifiers that are working at the same time but I still feel really comfortable in this knit top and I love the fit of this um, leather shorts so this pair of shorts fits me really well they're not actually animal leather but an eco-friendly leather which is a sustainable uh, fashion and it's really nicely fitted not too tight and not too you know sometimes when i buy certain um, brands of leather shorts it tend to be like overly tight on me this one I really like plus it's sustainable and easy to take care of so what I have to do is just wipe it down like seriously there's no dry cleaning or washing needed so this leather is super easy to maintain and it requires like minimal care so that we can have more time to do better things and if you want to look even more chic with this outfit because like a knit top and a pair of shorts could look a little casual just roll on this khaki colored crop jacket let's see there are two buttons here what i really love about this brand is they use such quality materials and you don't break the bank having more outfits okay Haha. Ha. Okay, so this is how I do it. It is not actually a two button thing, you just button. So this is a little bit of like a safari style. And it has all these detailings, which are so important to an outfit. Details make the outfit, but not like overly detailed. So this looks very chic for a day out. And I would even wear this as a safari outfit. And because I love comfortable shoes, I am going to be styling the outfits with this two similar exact style of Chanel boots, one in white and one in black. Because these boots go with everything, like even my outfit right now, um, they just go with everything and with a bit of height just makes everything look so good. So we are going to be working with these two. And of course, when it comes to fragrances, you don't want to be too overpowering. Like once you enter the room, everybody can smell you. Okay, so that is a no-no. Go for something classic, soft, subtle, not too overpowering. I think that subtleness is really the new aesthetic. Like quiet luxury. So one of the bags we are going to be styling the outfits with is right here. It's one of my favorite bags of the moment. And both bags are going to be white, just hint hint. I don't know if you guys know which is the other of my favorite bags, but this is one of them really old money style. Um, Chanel, always classic, always elegant. Let's go for the other bag.
So this has been my absolute favorite bag for like ever since I got it. It is the um, MS Kelly 20, which is also known as the Mini Kelly. And this one is like in an almost white, to me, it looks white with a slight touch of gray. Let's use this for the styling video. Let's go. I really like this style. It's casual, yet very polished looking. Um, this is a machine washable wool, really comfortable, very luxurious. The fit is so good. Guys, have a look at this. With all the gold buttons with details, just looks really premium. And these denim high-waisted jeans, very lightweight denim actually, I feel so comfortable. This is going to be such a staple piece in my wardrobe. Guys, I literally live in white pants and I like them in a relaxed fit like that. I don't like things that are too tight. It just makes me feel hot like in Singapore, it's really humid. So this style is really nice and to pair off with these boots that look like sneakers when you wear them with jeans that is a very chic look with my pearl necklace my pearl earrings i think that you know this outfit can take me anywhere let's get the bag I'm going to put on this knit cardigan or the vest. And guys, if you use my code JC25 on the Goelia website, you get 25% off the entire website except on discounted items. So that will save you even more money. Wow, this is really chic. Just switching this cardigan up with a velvet pleated skirt changes its look. So, so cute. My bow and my outfit. I always love uh, pussy bow blouses because I think that they are really pretty and yet elegant. Kind of like a very Blair Waldorf look. And I absolutely love this outfit. Let me put the jacket on and show you guys. Oh, but before I do, I just want to show you guys how well made everything is. Even the inside stitching, you know, it's, it's, it's really nicely done for the kind of price that they sell their things at, I think it's really worth it. Because this is pure merino wool, and we all know how expensive merino wool is. Um, yeah, but yet this outfit is not heavy or um, very warm. It's so thin and light, I could actually just wear it in my country which is hot and humid, and I still get away with it. So, this outfit is literally light and breezy. Not heavy, and it doesn't have those annoying shoulder pads that I absolutely hate because I have such square hanging shoulders that I don't need any shoulder pads. And most of the time when I get an outfit that has got shoulder pads on, I have to like send the jacket to a tailor to have them removed and sewn back again. So this is really perfect. The fit is nice on me. I never had to alter like any of my Goelia stuff. They just like fit me perfectly. I'm so happy. I have a handle for every outfit. Now, I have to say a blouse on. I just changed the shorts and 
wear a different jacket. And voila, I have another for another day. This has got to be my favorite outfit in this whole series, okay? I, I'm going to rate them. Um, this is my favorite one, and my second most favorite would be the peach outfit that I just did, and then my third favorite is everything else. So this is a tweed, and it's, it's a set. As you can see, that this is a high-waist skirt, I love high-waisted um, skirt shorts pants because it just makes me look taller. And this really light uh, blouse with ruffles has got little tiny ruffles and I glammed it up with many, many strings of fresh water pearls. It adds such a touch of glamour to the outfit. Like I could wear this for an afternoon tea at a very fancy hotel. And you know what? Maybe I should wear this out for dinner tonight. I'm going for a really nice dinner. Should I do the peach or this one? Gosh, I'm so torn. So everything just looks so nice. You know what guys, I'm not even going to decide anymore. You know, throughout this video, I've been deciding what to wear for dinner tonight. I think this is going to be it. So, see you guys in the next video. I hope you have enjoyed this one. Thank you for watching. Bye!